Welcome to today's One Piece strength discussion video. Today we're going to talk about the best draw in the series, Monkey D. Luffy and Rodonoa Zoro. The one who aspired to be the Para King or another one to be the strongest swordsman in a fight to death, which we will definitely not see happen between these two. But who is stronger as in the latest manga chapter? We're going to talk about it today and stay tuned. Before we get into today's video, my channel mainly discusses about anime characters or hot anime topics. If you love this type of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Thank you very much. Many people might think that Luffy necks Zoro easily, right? If you read the manga, your opinion and thoughts might change. Let's get started with Luffy. He is the devil fruit user of Gomu Gomu no Mi. Luffy has been training hard and utilizing the Gomu Gomu no Mi as creative as possible, which result in his current strongest form, Gear 4, to be able to defeat Karakuri, the first commander of the Big Mom Pirate. Luffy is an absolute monster, and we have seen him achieve so much throughout the series, even in the manga. He has also learned three advanced hakis, advanced observation, advanced conquer, as well as advanced armament haki. He is a monster, but he has not yet mastered all three of the hakis, as well as his devil fruit yet, which can be told when he is literally got one shorted by Kaido without doing any type of damage. Current Luffy in manga, how strong is he? I would say he is about Amaro level like Fujitora, low Amaro level, somewhere around Fujitora, but I don't think he can get any higher than that, unfortunately. So, what about Roro no Azoro, the man who wants to be the strongest swordsman? Unlike Luffy, he does not have any devil fruit, but he has his immense will, probably the strongest will in the One Piece series. Therefore, he will stand up no matter how many times he is beaten down, and his sword level is getting closer and closer to Mihawk. But what about his hakis? Zoro learned advanced armament haki but only has the basic of observation haki. However, it is controversial whether Zoro has advanced conquer haki. When Zoro used the nine sword style technique, it seems that Kaido can see Zoro using conquer haki. And that technique actually damaged Kaido the most in comparison to Luffy, Kid, and Law. I would say, Zoro might actually have conquer hakis and be able to utilize it on his sword, to which is shown when he has done the most damage to Kaido while no one can actually do it or actually have done it before other than Odin. So, who is stronger, Zoro or Luffy? Based on these stats, we can say Luffy is stronger than Zoro since Zoro does not have any advanced observation haki. However, Luffy's strongest technique is nowhere close to Zoro's strongest technique of Ashura. Therefore, I would say that if Luffy could not dodge Zoro Ashura attack with his observation haki, since he shouldn't be able to dodge it since Kaido actually didn't dodge it, Zoro can one-shot Luffy and knocks Luffy down. However, if Luffy can dodge the Ashura attack or beat Zoro before he uses it, Zoro should be will lose to Luffy in Luffy, in Luffy's Gear 4 form, high difficulty. In this episode, we have talked about who is stronger, Zoro or Luffy. Let me know what you think of my statement at the comment section and I would like to hear your criticism. If you love One Piece contents, don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me a lot. Thank you so much and see you in the next episode.